Good morning, Daily Dosers. My name is Brandon Vasquez. I'm one of the pastors at our San Marcos Escondido campus, and I am so excited that we get to spend this morning together as we continue on in our series, an Advent specifically focusing on love. Uh, there was a song that came out earlier this year in March of 2021 uh, entitled Gyra, and the first line in that song uh, says, I'll never be more loved than I am right now. And I've listened to that song countless amounts of times, and I listen to that line and I think about my life and what it looks like right now. And I, and I think about my love for my kids and my wife and my friends um, and my family. And most specifically, I think of the love that Christ has for me. And as followers of Jesus, uh, we are daughters and sons of the Almighty God. And the love that he has for us is just unreal. Um, so if you believe that, um, just like I do, that we're in this place where we feel more loved than... Uh, we've ever felt. I would ask us this question, I say us, because I include myself in that. Uh, what are we doing with that truth? Now what? I'm going to read a few verses in 1 John, uh, 1 John 4, 7 through 12, and it says this, uh, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. I was in a staff meeting yesterday with uh, Tracy Moss, who's one of our pastors here at North Coast Church, and um, she said these words, which I loved. She said, wouldn't it be beautiful if we could be known for seeing and loving peop the people who live on the fringe? I'm going to say that one more time. Wouldn't it be beautiful if we can be known for seeing and loving the people who live on the fringe? Uh, two years ago, my wife and I and our four kids, who are age two, four, four, and six, uh, started doing this thing where we would collect our recyclables, our cans and our bottles, and uh, once we got two or three bags full, we'd go out and get in our van and, and drive around Escondido and San Marcos and look for people who are homeless. And um, my wife and I have always had a special um, call to that community, and, um, and so we want our kids to see that it's, it's absolutely normal to talk to people who are homeless. They are daughters and sons of God just like we are. Uh, they just don't happen to have homes. And so uh, we go and, and look for our friends who are homeless, and we make sure to use that language. We don't say our homeless friends. We say our friends who are homeless um, because we use the person first language, um, and we want them to be known as a person before we say that they're homeless. And so we go, and our kids are so excited every time that we do this, and we get the bags, and we'll drive around, and we'll um, drop them off to people, and we'll ask them for their names. And we ask them for their names because we go home and we write them on this list and we put them on our refrigerator and we're able to remember these names and pray for these people. And, um, and it's so beautiful to see our kids, again, those ages, so small, get so excited to do this. And when we're done, they say, oh, dad, don't we have more cans to give? Oh, don't we have more uh, bread to give them or, or blankets? Uh, no, we ran out, but we can do it again in a week or two. Uh, and so... Why do I share this story? Um, I don't share this story to get like any sort of pat on our back, but I share it because it's something that you can do just as easily as we can do it. Uh, Christ's love can be written about, it can be sung about, it can be verbalized, uh, but Christ's love in action proves that it actually exists. And so what is it that you can do? Maybe it is getting recyclables and sending those out to the people who are in the homeless community, um, or maybe it's something totally different but so totally doable for you. What is that? Be creative. Think of what that can be for you. How can we show Christ's love to the people around us? In the end, we as Christians can be confident in God's love for us, but that can't be it. We can't just stay there. Wouldn't it be beautiful if we could be known for seeing and loving the people who live on the fringe? Thanks for being with us this morning, and we'll see you next time.